that was intense. Um, I'm sorry. New product this That's week. That's it. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I'm new done. product this week. So eight box shipping. So I just want to show what's new to your mailbox if you're a subscriber. Okay, and then if you don't want to know what it is, yeah, look away. Take the kids go, out. Go, 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 go. Don't spoilers. This theme is make robot friend, not robot enemy. It's all about robotics. preview of putting it together. robot that you can build uh if you didn't get your edabot subscription no problem we'll have just the standalone one in the store later but do start subscribing now yeah, it's neat it's a bluetooth feather so you can use your phone or your tablet or even a computer later yep with with um to control it but we have an app that works really great on, on android there's an app for that there's an app for it yeah. and uh, but it's also a full you know arduino compatible so you can do anything you want it's a great little robot simple to the point there's a little bit of prototyping space not too big, not too small. I like it. It's kind of like in that nice sweet spot. Yep. And of course, guides launch. You can take a look at some of the things with AdaBox 2. Explore the use of the contents of your AdaBox 2. And of course, action shots. These are some of the many fun things you can do, like have it crash into your AdaBoxes. No, it's not crashing. <laughs> oh. Ooh, using sensors. Oh, it's like one of those self-driving cars. Okay, so that's what's going on with Adabox. So Lady Ada, let's kick it off. What's new? Okay, we're gonna kick it off with this rainbow hat for Android things. So this is sort of like a all-in-one Internet of Thingsy type hat. It's for the new Android things release with Google. Um, we did a pro we did some stuff, and Primaroni designed a hat for it. So it's really nice. You get a quad uh, text. Uh, you know, whatever, 14 segment display, you can write words, you have three capacitive touch buttons and with little LEDs, um, a bunch of NeoPix uh, NeoPixels, uh, dot star LEDs, um, and then a uh, temperature barometric pressure sensor in the center, it comes fully assembled. So you don't have to use it with Android things, but it's designed for the Android things demo. So that's what yeah. you know, it would be best for. Okay, moving right along, guess what? Works with any Raspberry Pi. This is, I know we have like our favorite and like with the Star Rather Show, but this is like one of my favorite products. You just because it's so small? So blinky. These are very, this is actually the demo for the very, very teeny LEDs. These are dot star LEDs, but they're just incredibly small. They're two millimeters by two millimeters, but they're full RGB LEDs that are SPI controlled. So if you want to add, you know, it's actually smaller than adding an RGB LED because the current control and the PWM is all handled for you, you only need two pins. So for the some of the designs I'm working on now, if I have a little bit of space, instead of putting a single color LED, you know, I put one of these on. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get full RGB color. And this is the body. It's, it's quite rugged. It's got this nice epoxy on top. Uh, you can see barely kind of in the upper quadrant there, there is the three dies, and then the body is translucent. And then the microcontroller that does the PWMing for you is at the bottom, and of course these are chainable. So you know, one of the projects when I was first playing around with these is I made a little eight by eight matrix. So it's just like insanely small um, using these 20 
two, you know, they're called 2020s because they're 2.0 millimeters by 2.0 millimeters. And just running it from a trinket using, you know, two data wires. So that's what you can do with so cool. these little LEDs. So you'll see these pop up in some of our designs. They were released. These LEDs actually came out a while ago, but they were not, um, they were not, the supply wasn't stable, but they've stabilized. And so we put 10 packs in the store and then we'll be using them in some products as well. Okay. And on the theme of Android things, um, we have the full packed accessories and more that you can buy. So if you go to adafruit.com slash Android things, you can see all the devices for everyone. Yeah, so we have a couple, we're gonna be making a couple more packs. We have a, a more DIY version. It's basically everything in the hat, but you kind of breadboard it together. And this is good if you want to customize. Um, your experience also comes with a servo, which is kind of nice. And um, lots of buttons, lots of, you know, lots of LEDs and resistors and wires. So this is good if you want to customize yeah. your design. And, and then we just have... This is just a helper kit. Um, you can use it with anything, but what's nice is that it comes with the little um, slippy on labeler for all of the pins and we get some female male headers nice. so this is a nice addition to if you want to do stuff with raspberry pi and it's it's designed for people who are doing android things this is for people who are really advanced they don't want to buy a full kit or full pack um they want to start immediately just connecting they know about circuitry they're ready to just wire directly to the raspberry pi yeah um and uh you know every week we talk about micro python excuse a little snake and uh one of the things that we want to do was support uh, Damien, the creator of MicroPython, including um, helping to get the word out. So uh, we're pleased to announce we have these very super cute MicroPython iron-on badges. Yeah, they're cool. And uh, we'll go to the overhead. Um, every single purchase, we donate to MicroPython.org, specifically Damien. And, uh, ooh, look at the glows. And uh, this is really neat. It's a, a badge that you can award someone. Congratulations, you learned Yeah, you can iron it on. Yeah. So that's and uh, it's really is. lovely. Um, it's got a, nice, a lot of detail, and it's, it's got the full outline. Yeah. So if you want to show your MicroPython pride yep. and help support the project, this is a great yep. thing to pick up. Okay. Next up, speakers. This is the bonnet, uh, the speaker bonnet pack. So last week we introduced the speaker bonnet, it's a stereo three watt I2S amplifier bonnet, little thing that can, you can plug it onto a Pi Zero, but of course you can do it with any Raspberry Pi. And it basically lets you have digital audio, great for audio projects, you know, if you want to make AirPlay speakers <coughs> or a little Pandora radio player. Um, and now we have a little pack and you save a little bit of money and you get a Pi Zero. And so this is great if you want to Oh. But Pi Zeros are not always uh, easy to get. So this is a good way to pick up a Pi Zero. You get a Pi Zero. Um, you get the latest one. You get our new enclosure, injection molded enclosure, which is nice. So you can see at the bottom there, it's nice and sturdy. And then you can pop up the top of the enclosure, just the part for the GPIO, and um, solder in the headers and then plug in the uh, speaker bonnet and then it also comes with stereo speakers that you plug right in and it's just like you run our script and you're ready to go you have um, audio output for your um, pi zero and of course any other raspberry pi but this is a nice all-in-one pack so if you want to just get started all you need to add is an sd card and a power supply and you're ready to go okay and the star of the show tonight beside you lady ada is a feather it's a feather Yay, we're back to doing a couple feathers. There's a few more I wanted to get done. This is the MP3 Featherwing. It's a music maker Featherwing because it actually does more than play MP3s. It can play waves, it can play on Vorbis files. It can play like WMAs or some other format. Mostly people play, uh, or AAC, most people play MP3s. You know, that's the, what people know it as. Um, this chipset does all the decoding for you. So while you can do native decoding on some chips with the, if they have enough power, it, it's, it's, you know, you have to kind of spend all your time just like playing music. What's nice about this chip is it, this does all of the work for you. You can basically pipe data from, read it from the SD card, pipe it to the chip and like audio comes out. Um, this one has a headphone jack. There may be in the future a version with an amplifier output. Uh, it's not out yet, don't ask. But this one has headphone output. You can plug into any amplifier. It has um, buffering capacitors. So you can plug it into a stereo system or a grounded system, not like, um, there's some very low-cost uh, MP3 output boards that don't 
do that. And so if you plug it into your stereo, um, you short the ground and, and you blow up your chip. That won't happen here, so that's nice. Um, and it works with every single one of our feathers. Uh, I went through and just made sure and tested them all. Um, so it works with everything from the ESP8266 feather to the Feather 32U4, the Feather M0, you know, Feather Teensy adapter, Feather yeah. Wicked, everything that you would want um, to add MP3 and then of course the SD card holder as well. So I have a demo. Can you believe it? So here is um, said Feather Wing and you see it plugs right on top of your feather and I'm using an ESP feather and I did actually build a version that has a uh, Wi-Fi streaming but this is this is not that project for this one I'm using um, the SD card and you plug it on top and you can battery power it or you can of course use a uh, micro sorry micro USB cable just plug in a micro USB cable but of course it runs off of battery as well and then I have some powered speakers and then I think I have to I hope my live demo works. Oh, yeah. I had the speakers down. That's it. You're jamming. Uh, and that's it. Um, but, of course, the, the code on here, you know, you tell it what file you want to play, and you can pause it, and you can change the bass and the treble and the volume, and you can do all sorts of digital controls. So you kind of... It's great if you just want to, like have a feather that has some sound effects. Um, this is, makes it very, very easy to do so. It's very powerful. Again, it can decode a wide variety of um, different formats. And uh, it even comes with an SD card holder. Or, of course, you can stream it over <coughs> Wi-Fi if you have a Wi-Fi feather wing. And then um, you can also, as a bonus, it doesn't have a microphone input, but you can use it as a MIDI synthesizer. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. It's, it's, it's not... I don't know exactly, I guess they just like had one chip and they use it for both. But um, if you don't want to use it for MP3 decoding, if you um, solder a header, solder a jumper on the bottom, you can put it into MIDI control mode and then you send it MIDI messages and it has like a hundred built in synthesizer effects. So remember Colin wow. did that uh, color glove? Yeah. So that was what he was using. It was like, it was, you can play audio as a synthesizer, not like a file. So yeah. if you want to have just like a, a music effect, um, like it has like, mm. a, like my, my <clears throat> favorite is ocarina. There's an ocarina, uh, so it sounds like an ocarina. There's piano, of course, and a, a couple drum machines um, all built into this, but. Okay. Yeah, right now it's just playing the um, MP3. So you can do a couple different things, and it's I think it's great if, if people want to add audio. Okay. Well, basically a m music maker shrunken down to a feather wing. So. And with that, Squeezed Lady Ada, is new products.